Hi, my name is Jenny. Welcome to my channel, JK Star Age Reader. Today I'm doing a Friday Reads. That's right, it's a Friday Reads for me, and I have a stack of books beside me that I want to talk about. So let's get going. The first book I have to show you it is Descending Stories by Haruko Kumota. This is the first volume in a manga series that follows a young man who has been released from prison. He decides to take up the art of Rukugo and convinces a master to take in him in as an apprentice. It's about him becoming a new member of this family and I guess uh, finding a new path. And so this is, uh, I have, after reading the first volume of this manga, I have volumes 2, 3, 4, and 5 ready for me on Kindle Unlimited. That's where I'll be reading the rest of the series and I'll decide from there whether I want to collect the volumes. So yeah, Descending Stories by Haruko Komota. Next I have the next book I have been reading and this one is Passenger by Alexandra Bracken. So I read a fairly a, a good way through this book and I have a few more chapters to go. I am reading this uh, and finding it to be a fairly interesting read. It follows young Etta who is a trained violinist. One day she is uh, playing at a concert and she gets pulled into a portal to back in time to 1700s America. There she finds the caught up in the trials of tribulations out of those times as well as she is trying to find the passage back to her own time and she, uh, and it is an interesting story following uh, different aspects of history um, uh, a revolutionary USA as well as uh, World War II in, in London and so uh, the next part uh, I'll, I'll let you find out where they go next but yeah this is a interesting so far and I plan to get to the end fairly soon so yeah Passenger by Alexandra Bracken next I have a book that I want to start and this one is Throne of Glass by Sarah J Maas so I've heard this book uh, going around booktube for so many years and I ha hadn't had really interest in reading it until recently and so I was able to purchase a copy at my local independent bookstore and so yeah this is where I will be starting my uh, read of Sarah J Maas and this is uh, I guess a bit of a, a Game of Thrones and um, dystopian story all wrapped in together so yeah another book that I want to start this week and this one is Practical Magic by Alice Hoffman so this book has been made into a hit uh, movie uh, franchise and I haven't had a chance to read any of the books uh, yet but for those uh, new to this book, and certainly I consider myself one of those, um, I'll read you what it says on the back cover. So here goes, it says. The Owen sisters confront the challenges of life and love in this bewitching novel from the New York Times bestselling author Alice Hoffman. For more than 200 years, the Owens women have been blamed for everything that have gone wrong in their Massachusetts town. Jillian and Sally have endured that fate as well. As children, the sisters were forever outsiders, taunted, talked about, pointed at. Their elderly aunts almost seemed to encourage the whispers of which jury and their musty house and their exotic concoctions and the crowd of black cats. But all Jillian and Sally wanted was to escape. 
So yeah, that is fairly interesting, and I want to uh, be uh, immersed in this uh, world as I know the author's writing to be fairly descriptive. So yeah, uh, Practical Magic by Alice Hoffman. Uh, next, I have a book that I have had on my shelf in the background for a while, and this one I've decided to start uh, this fall. And so this book is Huntress by Kate Quinn. So last year I was able to read um, The Alice Network by Kate Quinn, which is about uh, female spies in World War One. And so this one is set in World War II and is about uh, some uh, Nazi hunters, I guess. So yeah, uh, this is a book that's fairly um, lengthy and it should be a good chance to finally get caught up with the books by this author. I have two more on the go on my shelves. And there is a new one that has been announced for September, so I can't can't wait for that one. So yeah, The Huntress by Kate Quinn. And finally, I have one more book to show you, and this book is Immortal Longings by Chloe Gall. So I was able to receive this a uh, month ago or so from month, Book of the Month. And I've been getting Book of the Month uh, for over the last past year as a subscriber. And I, uh, so far, I am uh, keen to uh, see, every see every month what their uh, book titles are going to be. And see which ones that I would uh, like the most. So, yeah. Uh, Immortal Long is, is based on the play... Uh, Anthony and Cleopatra by uh, William Shakespeare and I can't wait to see where uh, the author takes that story. So yeah, uh, Immortal Longings by Chloe Gall. So that's it for me for this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again next time. Bye!